Global inflation is still wreaking havoc in many economies around the world. Prices of goods and services have shot up in nearly all the markets, exacerbated by climate change that has prolonged droughts in many parts of Africa. Several businesses have experienced shortage of customers who have in turn become cautious about the expenditures from the high commodity prices. Times are very hard. Business has gone down. I used to buy even two sacks of potatoes per day. Oranges and tomatoes, I used to buy two crates. But now it has gone down and I'm buying less. Right now I cannot even eat in the morning. I drink tea without milk in the morning and skip lunch. I only have dinner so that I can be able to save. I am even having challenges paying school fees for my kids. Maize flour is a staple food in most Kenyan households as it is used to make a corn meal which is commonly known as ugali. The price of maize flour have shot up including other staple food affecting their profitability in various businesses. Last year we were making a profit of 20 cent dollar per bundle of cooking flour or more but now we are getting a profit of between 5 cent to 10 cent. And that is not easy because people are not buying because of lack of money. And it is not only maize flour alone. If you look at cooking oil, the price has shot up from the previous price. And back to flour last year, we were selling at $1. And it has been gradually increasing from $1 to close to $2. And that has become a problem. And back to cooking oil, sugar and water, the prices have gone up. After the 2022 elections, President William Ruto ended subsidies meant to caution consumers from high prices. He has promised nonetheless to bring down corn flour prices.